So Snapchat has, in uh, the spirit of 420 without actually saying it, released a new filter that you can use. Uh, it's a Bob Marley filter. So basically, for those uh, who haven't been explained by their children how to use Snapchat, you can use facial mapping to map someone else's face over your face. Uh, sometimes it's like a rave pattern, it's, and sometimes it's a bunny ear for, for uh, Easter, but now it is uh, Bob Marley for 420. And some people are very upset, uh, like this person, Alp, who says, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, Snapchat put a Bob Marley filter, and it's bad and in poor taste to say the least. So a lot of folks think, uh, like this next person, uh, Lara, who said, uh, Snapchat have a Bob Marley filter, which is essentially digital blackface, people not keen. Uh, Jeremiah Gibson wrote, is Snapchat high today? Is this a <laughs> smart filter for 420, digital blackface? Why not just a hat and dreads and a quote? Um, so people are going crazy. Now, just a little extra bit of information. There's another uh, facial mapping app out there called Masquerade, which this March got bought by Facebook, and they, for months, have offered a very similar looking one that lets you put Snoop Dogg's face over yours. And I think it's actually better because it looks like Snoop Dogg, and there's a little extra heft to the dreadlocks. And it also <laughs> lets you do uh, become Barack Obama in addition to Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Um, the question is, is this digital blackface? Let's discuss. Okay. Uh, I'm voting no. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, first off, the blackface was put on by white people as part of so-called entertainment, and it was in an effort to make fun of black people. So now there's some people who are totally ignorant of that history, and they're like, oh, whoa, what's the big deal? Blah, blah, blah. Well, okay, but it is it was a big deal, and so let's not do that, right? Yeah, it was the dominant minstrelsy was the dominant entertainment form for many, many yeah. years. That was how you got entertainment. It was, it was the people, reality TV of its day. Yeah, putting on blackface. Right. Yeah. But that's not what this is. Like it's not a white guy who goes, Oh, this will be funny. I can come and do this, and then I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, right, this is a, this is, you know, putting your face on a black person's face. Which actually could be considered somewhat complimentary. Like, so that picture uh, Brett just showed of the guy was a white guy with tats and stuff, and who he put his Obama on his face and melded the two together, right? Right. Like he wants to be Obama, or he wants to look like what he, you know, if he what he would look like. Now, if you put a caption on it, that was racist. Right. Totally different conversation. Right. right? Odds are that as soon as you start talking, you're being racist. <laughs> like the way you portray like Bob Marley is going to be pretty insensitive. Yeah. But the ability to put his face over your face, and it's because I think the idea of minstrelsy was taking all of what was black in your mind and turning it into one thing and boiling it down to like, you know, all this cr terrible, terrible stuff. This is the specific specificity of this, it being essentially a mask and not blackface. Mm -hmm. You know, it is... It's, I, I think it's different. It doesn't pass the smell test to me. What do you think? Look, I, I think, first of all, I want to say I'm not mad about it. But um, I could see the case to be made that it's a form of that. I, I, look, I haven't used the app. I haven't used Masquerade. I did a face swap with Hannah Cranston on ThinkFeed. That's as far as I've gone into these sorts of technologies. Uh, so I've, I've been reading mixed messages about does it actually darken your face? Or is it simply his structure on your face. It darkens your face. It's a, so it darkens your face. So, look, I think a lot of the people who do the, the Halloween costumes, and it's like three frats a year have to go in blackface, some of them do it because they don't know about or care about American history of min minstrelsy and why that exists and all that. But I think a lot of them do it to be like, <laughs> I get to be black temporarily and then go back to my life. How funny is that? I don't think that everybody that does this app does it for that reason by any means. Probably a lot of the people who do it have done 30 different filters in a row, and then they hit this one, and so they do it, and so it's just fun for them. I think there will be some people, however, who think it's funny to temporarily be black. There are some people in America who do that. So I don't think that most people are doing it to do a form of digital blackface, but I think, yeah, some are. I think another uh, kind of weird thing about it is how it boils down all of 420 to Bob Marley and all of Bob Marley down to 420. Like this was, it was done in conjunction with the Bob Marley estate. So mm -hmm. they, I mean, I guess they're biased. They, they're, they, they're biased, they like him.
but they signed on for this to happen. That's that's true. Yeah, I would say to be fair, I, money too. I think Snoop Dogg is more equivalent to 420 because of yeah. yes. more, you know. Yes. But I, he was taken. I would say, looking at poster sales in colleges, apparently a lot of people boil down. If you're part, if you're into weed culture, you have to have the poster. You have to listen to his songs and everything. So this is just the latest in a long line of attempting to make his entire life being around smoking. So I'm, I, I hear you guys. I'm voting not guilty all around. Uh, so yeah, Bob Marley had great music. People enjoy, love his music, and and if you listen to some of what he's saying, it's great. So other people disagree mm -hmm. with other parts of what he's saying. Uh, say, but yeah, but he was known for smoking weed. He was. It's like. Trying to like say that he wasn't is just not true, right? I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm not saying like you, the only thing you should know Bob Marley for is smoking weed, right? Right. But I'm saying like, yeah, but that was a big part of what he's known for, mm -hmm. and so, so I would Willie argue, Nelson. I would argue that his he's better known for his music. So if you want on a day that related to music, you had Bob Marley on too, I'd be like, great, that's perfect, okay? Mm -hmm. But he's one of the guys known for smoking a lot of weed, including Willie Nelson and Snoop yeah. Dogg, right? Yeah. So you could have gone with any of those guys. Mm -hmm. and, 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 but, and but note that this doesn't add in any musical thing. There's no music that plays. There's no guitar in the picture. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the, and going back to your point about getting to be black, and this isn't exactly what you said, but just it it stretches his face over yours. It doesn't darken your skin. It takes an image map and matches all of the features to where mm. your features seem to be. Yeah. That's why when you look at all the examples of all these photos, it looks like a bunch of different Bob Marleys. Like it looks like a square-faced Bob Marley and a very narrow-faced Bob Marley because it just wraps his face to yours. Mm. So. I don't know if people, I mean, I'm sure there are people who will be like, oh wow, I get to be black for a minute. But I think most people are like, I get to be Bob Marley for a minute. Yeah, I think that's the majority. And that specificity makes it less, you know, terrible in my mind. And then it leads to this funny moment today where someone who works here who's black came up to me and asked oh. me for permission to, to use this app with a white employee's face. And I was like, yeah, you're black. You can yeah. use whatever app you want. <laughs> and do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, first of all, if you're white, you're allowed to do it, <laughs> but you don't have to ask me. But second of all, it's your call. What's <laughs> like, not guilty?